Hi and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine. So you guys said you wanted to see more thrifted furniture flips or trash to treasures on my channel. So I thought I would show you our latest project, which was this hutch that we found on the website Let Go. And we transformed it into kind of like a modern farmhouse cottage style hutch. So this is what it looked like. We had to take it apart to fit it in our vehicle when we picked it up. So I just left it apart to paint it and for this one i am just using this rust-oleum chalked paint in linen white i thought it was the perfect color and i'm using these brushes because i found they worked best for me with chalk paint and i am using this dewalt screwdriver because it saves so much time and energy And I will try and link everything that I used in my description box if you guys want to check that out. So I just quickly sanded each um, door and drawer. Now with chalk paint, they say you don't really have to prep it by um, sanding it or priming it. But they do um, say if you want a better um, grip with the paint to just give it a light sanding. So that's what I'm going to do. And normally you would want to wipe it off after you sand them. But I forgot. Obviously, you can see that in the video, and it does kind of, um, you know, mix the little sanding particles in with the paint so you can kind of see it, and it gives it more of an oranger look, which I wasn't happy with, but the second coat kind of took care of that. And I thought even the first coat looked kind of cool. So I just did the same thing with the drawers. And with chalk paint, I like to do lighter coats and maybe more of them instead of doing like a really heavy one coat. I just, it works better for me <clears throat> and I can control it a little bit better. And here's the base. It was kind of beat up and discolored and there were cup rings and stuff. So I wasn't too heartbroken having to repaint it. Plus I have a lot of um, wood pieces in my house already. So I just, I really wanted this hutch to be white because I have a lot of, um, you know, like wood decor pieces or colorful decor pieces. Ew, that's really gross, isn't it? <laughs> um, that I like to decorate with and like Christmas time and stuff. I just thought with it being white, my decor pieces will really pop out and be noticeable instead of, you know, if this, if I kept this, the wood piece or the wood coloring, it just, it wouldn't, I don't know, it wouldn't stand out as much. So here I'm just showing you, I'm going to keep the inside of the cabinets and drawers, the wood color, because I think that'll be really pretty. Like when you open the doors. And with the base and the top part, I did two coats on both. A little trick here, I just take a magic eraser on my little sloppy spots where I don't want the paint and it comes right off if you wait for it to dry. I don't know about with like latex paint, but I know chalk paint, you can just wipe it right up with a magic eraser. So for the hinges and the handles, you will see here shortly, I painted them with this Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint and I gave them two coats. And here's the top of the hutch. I don't know if you remember from the picture, it had those glass doors on it, but it made it look kind of like country-ish, which wasn't the look I was going for. 
So we removed those and we just have to give this a good sanding because it's really beat up from, you know, the people we got it from, but also when we try to lo load it in our vehicle. So here, like I said, we're removing that little whoop-de-doo thing at the bottom because it just, it, it gave it more of like a country look that um, we didn't want. We wanted it to look a little bit more modern. So my husband just took this handsaw and um, just drew a straight line so he knew where to cut and he cut it off. Which was a lot easier than he thought it was going to be. And here, because we weren't putting the doors back on, I wanted that center thing removed because it just didn't make sense to keep it. <laughs> so my husband did the same thing and just sawed that off and then had to um, kind of smack that top piece off because it was held in by this, um, I guess it was like a staple. And there were a couple pieces that ended up breaking, which isn't a problem because I just reattached them with some wood glue and clamps. And here's that little, I don't know what it's called. I call it a whoop de doo <laughs> um, Here's my husband cutting it off. And for some reason, he thought it looked like a mustache, which was hilarious. <laughs> And then I just sanded where he cut and took some of this wood putty or wood filler, mixed it up and um, filled in the holes where the hinges were for the doors and also um, where we had glued those pieces in. And then I didn't show it, but after that um, putty dries, it's really, really easy to work with. You can e either wipe it down with a wet cloth or sand it. And I just chose to sand it because they were really small spots. And then I took that same Rust-Oleum chalked paint and gave this a couple coats. My husband helped me on the spots I couldn't reach. <laughs> And I don't know if you can see there, but there is a little crack that we noticed. Um, just seemed to, I think it expanded as we were working on it. So I took this polyacrylic just to try it out because I'd read a lot of people had success with sealing their um, chalked furniture with this. I didn't end up liking this, but I did use it on the top part of the hutch and it, it worked fine. But on the sides, I ended up just repainting them white where I, where I put that sealer because I just didn't like it. It pulled some of the yellow through. Then I took the handles and spray painted them with the same color that I used on the hinges, which was the flat black. And here it is all finished. I'm so happy with it. So is my husband. We love how it looks and fills in the space in our dining room. And I'll show you more how I decorate it and stuff over on my other channel, which hopefully by the end of August, early September, I'll have like a couple decorating videos up over there. 
I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I love um, the wood on the inside of the cabinets and drawers. Let me know what you guys think. And here's that crack. I don't know if you can see it, but I did read that I can get a windshield repair kit and people said they've had success with filling in mirror cracks. So I'll give it a shot and let you know how it works out. I think this is so pretty. I love the lights in here. It just brightens it up and it looks really cool at night. Well, as always, guys, feel free to let me know any video ideas that you guys would like to see on my channel. I hope you like this one. Thanks so much for all your love and support. I really appreciate all of you, and I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!